for a quarter. Well, he is playing big right oh. now. A strip of heart. It is a foul. It looked like he had been bumped. But nice energy from the Bulls. Oh. Green is slow to get up. Well, here it is right here. Just going to pitch the ball ahead. I was just catching shoot. And Javante right here. Good steal. And he got kicked in the face and the head. Wow, that's what ended up being the issue. And Scott Foster has come over to check for a flagrant foul. And I don't think Josh Hart's out here trying to kick people, but he did make contact on a kick. So it may be a flagrant. That's a good move here in uh, martial arts and <laughs> UFC, but not in a basketball game. Here it is right here. And it's just a roundhouse yeah, to just, the ear. Just ended up. What's this? Giving him an old uh, Patrick Swayze Chuck Norris there. Oh, oh geez. Roadhouse. A Bruce Lee move. Josh Hart's been playing exceptional ball. Dang, look at that. He's letting the score is table no first. I, uh, I think he'll address the mic here. After review, the foul's been upgraded to a flagrant foul penalty two, resulting in the ejection of Josh Hart. There was excessive foot to head contact that resulted in his ejection. Due to the ejection, the technical foul has been rescinded because you cannot penalize after an ejection. Green will shoot two, though, retain possession of the ball, and we'll play on from there. So no technical. You have to rescind that because it cannot be the result of a flagrant two. So that doesn't go against Hart's count. But Tom Thibodeau's displeased, obviously, because as we were just talking about, that's a big loss for the Knicks. An Jeez. excellent rebounder, plays really tough Jeez. defense, great chemistry with... His Villanova teammates, obviously, and, and what he does for this group, but he's done for the game. And he's a high energy guy. You know, he's a guy that gets tough rebounds, gets a lot of 50 50 balls. I, I thought it'd be a flagrant one. Yeah, that's what you I know, thought. I, I didn't, I don't think he, I didn't think he meant to kick him in the head. I, I think he meant to slow down the fast break if there was a fast break. But I, I thought it was a flagrant one. So he he yelled for Scott Foster, and and he's again he's just asking the question what happened. He's not being demonstrative, overly demonstrative or anything. He's coming off his best game offensively: 31, nine rebounds, eight assists. He played a great game, and he's battling a sore wrist. 